Outdoors bound tonight. Concern about a fish species vital to the economy of Virginia as well as the economy of the United States. A new report out shows that the Atlantic striped bass numbers could be in trouble unless something is done about it. By some estimates, the recreational and commercial fisheries for stripers generates more than a billion dollars a year. WFXR's George Noliff has the story. In the bag. In the net. We got her. There is no other fish like it on the Atlantic coast. We're talking about the striped bass. Look at that dark shadows here in there. Striped bass are one of the most iconic uh, saltwater game fish species um, along the Atlantic seaboard, really from North Carolina all the way up to Maine. Um, these fish provide a wealth of a recreational opportunity um, for millions of anglers. You got her? She's in the net. While still strong, striped bass numbers have been in decline because of some weak spawning classes. All right, you want to measure? Now, a management effort is in place to return Atlantic striped bass numbers to 1996 levels by 2029. Why 1996? And that is important because that 96 metric is the apex of the population in recorded history. It's a really lofty goal. But now that goal is moving out of reach. The latest data shows striped bass harvests were so high last year that there's an 83 to 86 percent chance that 2029 goal won't be reached. Because of that, people close to the fishery say it's likely some action, possibly reductions in harvest numbers, but more likely adjustments to the size slot will be taken to get things back on track. Tony Friedrich is with the American Saltwater Guides Association. His group's on board with reasonable changes to regulations to boost the stock. Our motto is better business through conservation, um, which, you know, in the nutshell just means the healthier the resource, the better everyone's business is going to be. But Friedrich says we can't wait. This is something that we can fix. And if we fix it now, it'll be a small course adjustment. And if we wait too long, we have the potential of some pretty draconian measures coming down. When the water's cold like this, we're just going to give them a plunge head first. Action could be taken at the next meeting of the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission. That's happening next month. With that in mind, there are things anglers can do immediately to protect striped bass, especially when it comes to safe handling and release. So we just got the fish in the boat. We're about to handle the fish, get it off. One thing I'm going to do is try to wet my hands here. Well, fish have a protective slime coating that acts as their immune system. Handling fish with dry hands can actually take that slime coating off and make them more susceptible to um, a variety of different stressors such as bacterial infections, pathogens, parasites. So handling fish with wet hands is really important. And then getting the fish back in the water as quickly as you can to minimize stress. Oh yeah. The experts say action taken now can help to guarantee scenes like this for years to come. Oh yes sir. Harvest regulation is going to get a lot of attention when the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission meets next month in Arlington. I plan to be at that meeting. I'll keep you up to date on any developments between now and then, but look for the slot regulations to be in play. George, I love that little fun fact about the slime being the fish's immune system, but I got to ask you, when you talk about slot regulation, what exactly does that mean? Good question, Drew. When I talk about a slot limit, it means fish within a certain length can be harvested. The slots can vary by state. Here in Virginia, the slot is 28 to 36 inches. Atlantic stripers outside that slot have to go back into the water, have to be released. The last superior, above average spawning class for Atlantic stripers was 2015. After that, spawning classes were average to below average, so slots could be set to protect that 2015 year class to ensure good numbers of those fish are given the chance to reproduce. It's a little bit biology, a little bit bath, but in essence, the more fish reproduce and well, the better the chances that stocks can be restored. Drew? All right, George, thank you.